look at the start list. The women's vault final. Olga Sherbatik from Ukraine. Susan Harmes from the Netherlands. The score for Olga Sherbatik in the qualification was 8.969. To qualify for this final, the girls had to compete in two vaults, two different vaults coming from two different groups. There are five different vault groups. And the average score counts and is the score that can take the girls to the final. The rules are the same here in the final. They have to show two different vaults from two different vault groups. And the average score will be the final score for the gymnast here. Sherbatik, good starting vault there. Tushenko layout with the double twist. The Yushchenko vault named after Natalia Yushchenko. Soviet gymnast first to compete this kind of vault, not with a double twist, but this technique with a round off into the board, flick flack up on the vaulting table. That's the special thing about this. Chenko Bowles score for Sherbatik 9.25 Second Vault Shenko, half twist into the horse, pipe salto forward. Two good vaults there from Olga Sherbatik, and I think her average score from the qualification, 8.969, will be a bit higher here. Start value for this vault, 9.5. Score 9.0 and the average score 9.125. The next gymnast, Susan Harmes, 19 year old from Suttermir in the Netherlands. First of all, there, Tushenko layout, one and a half twist. Susan Harmes. Scored 9.044 in the qualification. Nine point two one two for Susan Harmes first vault start value nine seven. Second vault round off full twist to the horse and the piked salto backward. Two good 
good vaults there from Susan Harmes. This second vault, and Yushchenko full twist onto the vaulting table. It's one of those vaults that has been lowered. Start value. Last year the start value was 9.7 for this vault, but it has been lowered to 9.5. Now, the score for Susan Harme's second vault, 9-0, average score 9.106. It's a little bit higher than her qualification score, but still she is behind Olga Sherbatik. Second place this far for Susan Harmes. Now we look at Ariela Kesslin from Switzerland. Handspring tucked with a full twist. That's a nice starting ball from Ariela Kesslin. Keeping her eyes on the floor during the full twist, trying to get the landing as clean as possible. First score here, nine. 9.15, 9.15, with a start value of 9.6. I'm not completely sure, but I think this is the first European final for a Swiss gymnast for a very long time. Second vault, Sukahara, one and a half twist. Looked like she was slipping a little bit on the vaulting table, but she managed to stay on the feet. Gymnast has to la land between those two white lines. Too much to the side. Second vault, 9.162. Average score, 9.156. Now we'll look at Samantha Bailey. Starting there with a handspring tucked. And I'm pretty sure that that wasn't what she intended to do. Getting into the tucked position very early and sure at all what she had planned to do. Maybe she had plans for adding a twist to that vault. The start value for handspring tuck, 9-2, and the score here, 8.225.
twist and the pipe to sound the forward with a half twist. Much better there in her second volt. Nine point zero seven five, and the average score is eight point six five. Putting Samantha on the fourth place. And now we look at the top gymnast from Belgium. Achje van Valegem, starting there with a beautiful Joshenko layout, one and a half twist. This is a good gymnast, not only in vault, also in the all-around competition. Finished sixth place. Coached by Garrett Beltman from the Netherlands. Used to train a few years in the Netherlands, but now she's back training in Ghent in Belgium. Second vault. Another Yushenko full twist to the vaulting table here and a nice high salto backwards piked. That's two beautiful vaults from Achje van Valegem. Second vault 9.075 and the average score 9.193. That's almost exactly the same as her qualification score. Zilena Samolucikova, Tushenko, double twist. Good start from Samolucikova. The Olympic gold medalist from Sydney in this apparatus. Elena Samolucikova, born 1982, 23 years old this year. Start value 9.8 and the score for Elena's first vault 9.4. Sukahara double twist. Didn't manage to push enough from the vaulting table there to get the height and the rotation for the Sukahara double twist. This is a more difficult vault than the Yushenko double twist. The start value is a point one 
higher, start value for the Yushchenko double twist, 9.8, and this bolt has the start value of 9.9. .9. Eight point eight six two, the score for San Lucas second volt, and the average score nine point one three one. But now Francesca Benoli from Italy. Very high, very well performed. Jushenko double twist. Beautiful height there. And this young, talented Italian girl, born 89. She's still 15 years old. She will become 16 later this year. First score here, 9.487. Volt. Joshenko, half twist, and the piked Barani out. Two excellent volts there from Francesca Benoli. And I'm pretty sure this is definitely a medal for Italy. Nine point three three seven, and the average score nine point four one two. First place now for Francesca Benoli. And I wonder what Anna Pavlova can do about this. Her average score in the qualification was 9.356, so she has to do even better than that. First vault there. Joshenko layout, double twist. Not as well performed as Benoli. She is a little bit under rotated in the landing. Not the same height as Benoli. And there you see the under rotation and the step forward. for Pavlova's first vault. Second vault here. That is a really beautiful vault, even though she's a little bit under-rotated there as well. Round off, half twist. out Barani. Taking a step forward there as well. And I don't think this will be enough to beat Francesca Benoli. Pavlova was number four in the all-around competition in the Olympic Games in Athens. And there we can see a very happy Italian girl. Second vault, 9.325, and the average score, 9.312.
So, first gold medal here for Italy. I don't remember when Italy had a European gold medal in the women's European championships before. Gian Francesca Benoli with a score of 9.412 takes the gold medal, followed by Anna Pavlova from Russia, 9.312. And the bronze medal to Belgium. Another sensation here at this first individual European Championships. Achie van Valleghem with a score of 9.193 takes the bronze medal. Next final here, women's uneven bars. First gymnast to compete here will be Jana Siklova from the Czech Republic. We have Lara, Laura Campos from Spain. Marine Debov, the all-around European champion from yesterday from France. Keep the cast handstand. Piked Stalder, Piked Stalder full turn, hecked up to the high bar, there's one of those special requirements, the flight element. Giant full turn, the Ginger. Overshoot to handstand. have turn into the double front dismount. Routine there from Jana Siklova. Tight Stalder. Overshoot to handstand from the top view. That's also one of those special requirements, the flight element from high bar to the low bar. That's a good start here. It's the bars final. Next gymnast from Spain, Laura Campos. Clear hip circle, falling to the eagle grip. Jaeger. Piked Jaeger. Salto down to the low bar. Speeding up for the dismount, double layout. Another good routine. Spain. Dismount there from Laura Campos. Double layout. 
was performed first time by a Spanish girl, Valveda. Eight point nine three seven for Laura Campos start value nine point six. With that low start value, I think the judges didn't give her the bonus combination for her start. But now we look at Marin Tebov, the all around gold medalist. Nice Jaeger. Giant one and a half, and the double front. Too many steps there in the landing, but a good routine otherwise from Marin de Bov. Giant, giant one and a half turn in the dismount. Qualification 9.425. This time she scores 9.35, putting her on the first place after three gymnasts. Next girl from Romania, Nicoletta Daniela Sofroni. Staller, one and a half turn. Supposed to be full turn, I think. Stalder, nope. She's down. Couldn't get her body on the right side of the bar there. Thirty seconds to continue her routine. Jaeger, giant full turn, giant half turn into the Healy. Back full twist. Sukahara dismount there from Sufroni. Sufroni has scored nine point four six two. Qualification will, of course, get a lower score now. I'm quite sure it will be a score below nine. The next competitor on an even bars is Maria Skoba from Ukraine. Seven point eight two five with a start value of nine point two for Sufroni. Next gymnast Daria Zgoba from 
Ukraine. Fourth in the qualification with a score of 9-5. This is a very good bar gymnast. Pike Staller, Pike Staller half turn into the eagle grip. Nice combination there, Pike Jaeger. Pike Salto into the Staller half turn. Dismount, double front tucked. That's a beautiful routine from Daria Skoba. 15 years old, she will be 16 in November. One of the new young Ukraine girls. We didn't get the chance to see last year's European champion, Alina Kosic. She didn't compete this year. Score for Daria Skoba, 9.5. And now, Tanya Gainer from Spain. Stalder. Pike Staller, Pike Staller full turn into the Ginger. Named by the German gymnast Eberhard Ginger, who first performed that skill in high bar. Staller full turn. And the dismount. Double back, full twist. Small jump there in the landing. Coach Jesus Carvalho has all the reasons to be satisfied with that performance from Tanya Gehner. and the first place. But here comes the Olympic champion in uneven bars. And watch this. The quest into the full twisted ginger. Stalvit Kachev. Giant full turn into the overshoot to handstand. And the dismount, double back, full twist. Almost sticking the landing. It's definitely another goal for France. The quest there, the full twisted ginger. Even called the Hindorf.
Score for Emily Lipnik, 9.687. I don't think that Olga Sherbatik will have a chance to top that score. Jäger there, Stalder to the puck, Salto down to the low bar. And, uh, Fontaine with this mount, named after Larissa Fontaine. Half twist into the double front. Le Benek there, interested in the score of course for Olga Sherbatik, but I don't think there is any reason for her to be nervous. Nine point one three seven, sixth place for Olga Sherbatik. The gold medal goes to France. The Lepenek. Silver medal to Spain. Tanja Gainer with a score of 9.562. The bronze medal goes to Ukraine. Jan Daria Skoba with a score of 9.5. Final, and we see the start list here. On women's beam final. Lewis Linders from the Netherlands, Susan Harmes also from the Netherlands, Achje van Wallegem from Belgium, Marine de Boeuf, the all around winner from France, Ilaria Colombo, Italy, Emily Lepenek. France, Anna Pavlova, Russia, and Catalina Ponor, Romania. First gymnast getting ready to start her routine, Lois Linders. 17 years old. She's been in one beam final before, and that's from a World Cup. Stuttgart 2004. Full twisting flick flack to sitting on the beam. It's a D skill giving her an extra 10. It's Johnson leap. Twisting flick flack. And the flick flack layout. Front tucked. Somersault. And 
the dismount double back piked quite good there from those linders no big mistakes for Lers Linders in the qualification was 8.912. Waiting for Lars Linder's score. Finds Susan Harfas. Lars Linder's teammate preparing for a routine. Eight point seven five start value nine point five. Lobsters. Susan Harmes, nineteen years old, one armed flick flack in layout. Ariel walkover. Full twisting flick flack DD combination. Tucked to run layer, full turn. And uh, side somersault. leap followed by a full twisted flick flack pirouette one of those five special requirements finishing there with a layout with a triple twist. A good routine from Susan Harmes, who was fourth in the all around competition. And that's her biggest all around success so far in her career. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Susan Harmes satisfied with her routine. The score for Susan in the qualification was 8.925. Now she tops that score with 9.087 start value, 9.7. Here comes Achie van Valegem, a Belgic girl coming in here as the first reserve for this final.
Elizabeth Tweddle was the girl who was on sixth place in the qualification, but she was injured during the all-round final. So now this excellent gymnast from Belgium takes her place who has already earned a bronze medal in the vault competition. And she was number six in the all-around competition. Front tucked. Double twist. And at this mount, this is C skill. And with all the special requirements here in the final, the last one is in the final a D dismount. In the all around competition, it's okay with a C dismount, but here she must perform a the dismount, so that gives her two tenths deduction. Okay. Score here 8.4. That's because of the low start value 9.1. Now the all around winner of this European Championships, Marine de Beauve from France. Beautiful. Good front tucked. Exactly out. Tuck to run there, full twist. Flick flack, three quarter turn. All tucked, CC combination giving her an extra 10. And the dismount. Two and a half twist. Adding half twist more than Achia van Walligem giving her the, t the D dismount. be another success, another medal for France, who has already taken two gold medals at these Europeans. In East, gold medal in this all around. And another gold medal for Emilie Le Penec in the bar final. Here the score for Mimi Marine de Beauve, 9.487. Start value 9.9. Nine. Here comes Ilaria Colombo. Had the same score as 
Marin de Bove in the qualification, 9.137. Starting there, front tucked. Combined with a leap that gives her some combination bonus. Aerial walkover, flick flag, layout. Johnson. Good leaps there. Front. And the dismount double tucked back. Nice routine from Ilaria Colombo. Another country. Ah. 9.212, start value 9.8. Second place for the moment. And here comes Emily Lepenek, gold medalist in the uneven bars. Lepenek was the winner of the all-around qualification. But in the all-around final, she fell twice. In this apparatus. Taking her down to the eighth place in the all-around finals. Twisting flick flag. She is in trouble from time to time. And there she is down. No, this is not Emily Lepenek's best team competition. Falling twice in the all around finals and now one fall. <whistles> Finishing there, two and a half twist. <laughs> there with her tucked Arabian. There her two and a half twist. Now we have the score here for Emily Lepnek, 8.025. Sixth place, two more gymnasts to go. Anna Pavlova and Katalina Ponor, the two 
highest ranked gymnast in the qualification. 9.287 was the score for Anna Pavlova in the qualification. Ariel walkover. Oh, supposed to be a flick flack there with full turn coming there. Stayed on the beam, but losing some combination bonus there. Full twisted flick flack, flick flack, play out. Very clean gymnast, Anna Pavlova. Scissor leap. She's in trouble again. Pavlova has two silver medals already here in this European Championships. The all-around silver and the vault silver. Onodi, skill named after Hungarian gymnast Henrietta Onodi. Dismount. Lay out with triple twist. Not the best routine I've seen from Anna Pavlova. Still, she stayed on the beam. No. Two big mistakes. <coughs> Here, the dismount in slow motion, triple twist. Twisting her legs a little bit. Pavlova, who's coached by her mother. Nine. Score 9.325, putting her on second place with just one more gymnast to go, Catalina Ponor. And with Marin Dibov now on first place and Anna Pavlova on second place, they can be sure of a medal as it is now. Now watch Anna Pavlova. Modi, flick flag, flick flag on one arm and lay out. Just sit back and enjoy the Olympic gold medalist this apparatus. Dismount. Double back piked. As always, a perfect routine there from Anna Pavlova. The mistakes she makes are so small that you almost don't notice them at all. And that's the way. Anna Pavlova competes beam always, I would say. The score for 
Ana Pavlova in the qualification, 9.712. Happy, satisfied, of course, with her routine. Now, getting the score, 9.737. Giving Romania their first gold medal in this European Championships, the women's competition. Silver and the second medal for Marine de Beauve, the third for France. Bronze medal to Anna Pavlova. Fourth place, Ilaria Colombo, Italy. Fifth place, Suzanne Harmest from the Netherlands. Sixth place, Lois Linders, also Netherlands. Seventh place, Achje van Wallegem from Belgium. Eighth place, Emilie Lepenek, France. The girls warming up now for the last event in the women's European Championships. The starting gymnasts in this floor final will be from Russia, Elena Zamolucikova, from Italy, Francesca Benoli, the winner of the vault final, from the Netherlands, Susan Harmes, from Russia, Julia Lusescu, from Romania, Catalina Ponor. From France, Emilie Lepenek. And Isabelle Sevrino. And from England, we supposed to have Elizabeth Tweddle, but she is out of this final because of her injury in the all round final. So instead of her, we have from Poland, Marta Pihan. Elizabeth Tweddle, who fell in the warm-up of uneven bars. And she has now got a brain concussion. So she's not seriously injured. There we have Marta Pihan, the reserve who came in now as the last gymnast to this final. Two times gold medalist in the Olympic Games in Sydney 2000, both floor exercise and vault. And we also have the double gold medalist from the apparatus finals in Athens, in floor and vault, Catalina Ponor in this final. Elena Samaluchikova will be 23 years old this year, born 82. score of 8.837 in the qualification. Starting there, Sukahara, double back, full in. Whip back, triple twist. Completely clean landing. Double cat leap. twist no she falls she falls and that's a point 0.5 deduction
Pinching there with a double piked back. Giving her the de dismount or the finishing tumble. That has to be a D skill. Nine point five, the start value for Elena Samoluchikova, scoring eight point four seven five. Now we look at Francesca Benoli from Italy, the gold medalist in vault. This is a very beautiful classic piece of floor exercise, classical choreography. Whip back, flick flack. Sukara, double back, full twist. Another good performance here from Francesca Benoli. Her score in the qualification was 9.050. Nine six, and the score for Francesca Benoli nine point zero seven five. Now we look at Susan Harmes. Susan, who has had a really successful Europeans here with three apparatus finals. There, Pike Tsukahara, double back, full twist. Coming back with a triple twist all the way around. Double cat leap, one and a half cat leap, one of those special requirements. Two leaps in a combination starting from one foot. Twist, punch, tucked full.
catching there with a handspring front layout double twist. And it's a good routine. Very good floor routine from Susan Harmes. Harmes who scored 9.075 in the qualification. Could here be a few tens higher, I think. She has won one World Cup competition in floor exercise, 2004 in Stuttgart. European Championships individually. She has a silver from the team competition in Patras 2002, where the Netherlands team finished second. Here, Susan Harmes score 9.375. And now we look at Julia Lucescu. High double Arabian. And spring double tucked front. A little bit deep in the landing. This girl is 16 this year. Double cat lead, one and a half cat lead. It's a DC combination, giving her two tens extra. We back, we back, flick back. Double piked. Another deep landing there. Julia's last acrobatic tumble. The Russian coach there. be quite satisfied with Julia's performance. A very nice double Arabian. Last acrobatic tumble, the whip back, whip back. Finishing with the double pike back. 8.962, start value 9.6. Third place for the moment. But now we look at the Olympic gold medalist in this apparatus, Catalina Ponor. Triple pirouette, popa, split, split, split leap, full turn. Kahara, double back, full twist. Two and a half twist, punch front layout, landing outside of the white lines, giving her one ten deduction. Double cat leap, one and a half cat leap, DC combination. There, another D skill. Triple twist. No 
not as clean as we are used to see Catalina Ponor. These tumbles. She there with a double pipe back. No big mistakes from Catalina Ponor, but not that top, top level that we are used to see her in floor exercise. The starting triple pirouette of the Popa. First tumble, the double back, full twisting, piked, slightly bent knees. And here you see the legs as well, not as clean as they usually are. 9.2, start value 9.9. Catalina Ponor in second place. As far, here comes Emily Löpenek, France. Pike Tsukahara, double back full twist. Can't leap. Kina. here by Adriana Pop. Two and a half twist, punch tucked full twist. Oh yes, good floor exercise there from John Emily Lepenek. 17 years old, she will be 18 in December, the last of December. Olympic gold medalist. Bars and now here in Debrecen, European gold medalist in the same apparatus. Nine point three three seven. Second place for Emily Lepenek. Right. After Susan Harmes, and here comes Isabel Severino. Twenty five years old, taking a break during a few years working with Cirque du Soleil, but now back in artistic gymnastics again. Very high double back. Piked full twist. Double pirouette, double tucked to the there.
half twist, punch tucked full. It's really nice to see Isabel Severno back in gymnastics again. there with a triple twist excellent performance there from Isabel Severino what a comeback this has been for Isabel Severino coach Yves Kiefer giving her a hug after that wonderful performance two and a half twist Tucked full twist. <laughs> and the finishing triple twist. Nine point five seven five. Start value 10 and the first place for Isabel Severino. And I don't think that this Marta Pian from Poland can do anything about that score. I think we will have another French gold. Remember that Marta Pian was the ninth gymnast in the qualification, coming in as the first reserve. Starting there with a double Arabian. Double tucked deep in the landing to much deductions on his first two tumbles. She won't be a threat to Isabel Sevkinos first place. Spring full twist, punch tuck front, giving her that special requirements, an acrobatic tumble with two different skills. Triple grunt, popa. Yes, not bad at all from Marta Pihan, Poland. Scored 8.7 in the qualification. So the score for Marta Piham eight point eight seven five start value nine seven. And we have another gold medal for France. Isabel Severino. Look at her crying of happiness. Her first European gold medal ever. She has bronze medal from the world championships in uneven bars from Puerto Rico 1996.